Hey, I'm speaking to another one of my amazing LinkedIn connections. His name is Darren Carter. Darren, thanks for joining me here today. Absolutely. So I wanted to show people how you can easily create a video talking to an expert about a topic without necessarily showing your face and even if you're not camera ready, because I, I hear a lot of excuses from people and why they're not doing video. And I was like, dude, you could just have a conversation on Zoom, share your screen and just talk and people can watch that and enjoy themselves. So what do you think of that? It works for me. <laughs> at this time, at this date, bingo. So we're having a conversation about keyword research now because you are a Google AdWords expert, Google Analytics expert, and you were telling me that you can open up a free AdWords account on adwords.com and then click on tools and click on the keyword tool, right? You click on tools and then you click on the keyword planner tool and then you get to this page and you can easily figure out what your most important keywords that you can use for your LinkedIn profile or for your website are. So what do I click on and what is this used for? I think actually another really important number here, uh, especially with respect to PPC, is this tool is gonna help you understand potential cost per click for particular keywords. And there's really only two components to getting a lead on your website, and that is that cost per click to your site and how well your site converts that click. So if they, um, you know, if it's a dollar per click and your website converts every hundred people, then you know a lead is going to be a hundred bucks. So like quickly you can start to understand what your budget should be, what the expectations of your site should be, and what your bidding strategies are. You know, and yeah, as much so as you know keywords, it's, it's really important to know what that competitive marketplace is in keywords. Start on discover new keywords to start. Okay, so what do I type in here? The best thing would be your website and then you can start to get ideas of phrases and keywords that Google sees on the site. So it's possible. There may not be any yet if, there, if there's not a ton of um, content yet on the site. You can throw in here additional keywords. So like if you know there are keywords that are important to you, then include those as well. All right, so I if would, it doesn't work, you type in a keyword. So for example, LinkedIn yeah, exactly. training. So we'll do a LinkedIn training, get results. So it shows me all types of LinkedIn training stuff, right? So if you want to learn LinkedIn, social media marketing, it's obviously too much. But LinkedIn courses would be low LinkedIn training courses is medium. So LinkedIn training courses has more than LinkedIn courses. What does that mean? So average monthly search is going to give you idea of the volume of what people are typing in. It would make sense that a more specific term like LinkedIn training courses has fewer searches than just LinkedIn courses. You know, you, what you're looking for really is that sweet spot of something that has a decent volume that has a lot of meaning as a phrase. You always think to yourself in search, when someone types something into search, it's very specific what they want. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, something like LinkedIn courses, it makes a lot of sense that like that would be useful, but you're always gonna be dealing with two audiences, at least people who are looking for jobs potentially, and probably those people who are looking for services. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, that third one really stands out to me as LinkedIn training for business because it's a mm. specific. You can also see the dramatically different cost per click mm. in that top of bid page as well as the top, you know, the top of page bid. And you can see right away that's the type of keyword that has more commercial interest and is going to be more competitive in your marketplace. So yeah. Do you really want to pay $40 per click? Maybe, maybe not, depending on how well your website converts those people mm -hmm. and what your, your actual average sale is for that person. You know, it's worth exploring the competition from low because, you know, the other approach is to say, let's go with a high volume keyword that might not be as specific. High volume or high competition? We'll do high volume. Um, I'd say like high volume. So it'd be like, yeah. Like LinkedIn, like, right? Two right. Words. This is also useful in, in looking for these sorts of things where like LinkedIn jobs, this is where you're going to do research on negative keywords. Mm. So in this case, you know, when you're advertising for, for LinkedIn training or services, you know you don't want those people who are looking for the job pages on LinkedIn, like LinkedIn help. You know, so like those things are high volume. They could cross over with the keywords that you're looking for if you're not using exact or phrase, and you're going to want to add those as negatives to prevent them from appearing. What is LinkedIn? Another good one to block. <laughs> you know, given the fact that you could have a as high a click as $5.80, you don't want to be bringing people to your website who are trying to understand what LinkedIn is. Right, so if 100,000 people search for the word LinkedIn learning, and I wanna be number one on Google for it, I could technically be spending $6 per click to buy LinkedIn learning, and that would cost me half a million dollars a month. Yeah, talking about SEO, this is a really good place to look and say, ah, here's great volume keywords, 
clearly I am teaching about LinkedIn in many different potential ways. The marketplace is incredibly expensive. People would be spending up to $30 a click or whatever it would be. And that's something that would make a ton of sense for you to think about optimizing in SEO so that you're competitive in the organic search results for those keywords that are costly in paid search results. Well, so if I wanted the word how to, how do I make sure that this shows up with the word how to? Like I want to find questions. I want to create content that are keyword friendly, that are keyword rich for let's right. say articles or whatever. How would I use this tool to find out what people are asking? Usually there's something called a modified broad search where you would put a plus sign in front of that keyword to tell Google, I want that keyword to appear. So um, it has yeah. to include that. But a plus how space plus two space plus LinkedIn. So how to LinkedIn is low competition. <laughs> yep, yeah, and that's interesting. So someone's just like asking the broadest questions about LinkedIn. Yeah, some of the ones that came to me, right, by relevance, I actually see more how to's. I see things like how to use LinkedIn, how to post on LinkedIn, how does LinkedIn work, how to network on LinkedIn, how to make LinkedIn private, how to find how, recruiters. How did, you, how did you find that, by using the plus? I did use the plus, and so I don't know why mine uh, looked different than yours. All right, so for example, how to generate leads on LinkedIn. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. Right. So the, but that's only there, getting a hundred hundred searches. It's so little. Right. Yeah, it's, it's very little on a monthly basis. If you wanted to be at the top of the page, you might have to spend a lot, but it's great that that range is so low. We're down to $6.40, it might be worth it for you to be you know, in position four, for example, at the top of the page. You know, Looking at that range could make a lot. And th this is a great way to follow it up, to see who is bidding on those keywords right now. So that's, so that's the point. The point is find keywords here, create content for SEO, figure out what things are worth, the value that things are worth. Are there any other places that you recommend to do keyword research? Do you recommend SEMrush? Do you recommend Moz? Yeah, I like SEMrush from a competitive standpoint always. That, that's a place where you can, you know, if you do this search now, see who's competing in that space. You can grab that competitor's domain and go to SEMrush to see who, who else is bidding on those keywords and whether or not they're coming up. And that, especially from like an organic standpoint. So I think, you know, here you really start to get these ideas about volume and you're right I really like your approach is not okay now I'm just gonna run some ads with these keywords in it it's no I'm gonna find the most effective content that best represents this keyword and that's what that's what always makes you win both in SEO and paid search you cool. need to deliver on that promise you, if it says how you're going to use LinkedIn for social media, in the best case, your article title is how to use LinkedIn for social media. <laughs> like that should be exactly what someone arrives at on that page. And you're going to get great engagement and that's going to make the quality scores on your keywords go very high. In so your cost will go down significantly. So for example, what, what you're recommending. That's why there's that range, you know, is like that, that has a reflection of the quality of what Google sees as your ad representing essentially that that search. And a lot of it has to do with web page engagement. Like a little over, I think it's like 40% has to do with whether or not that person stays on your website for a good amount of time and actually, you know, finds what you presented them valuable. Cool, so if I wanted to create like a page that's like how to have a good LinkedIn profile, mm -hmm. so I would take all the keywords in that campaign that are related to LinkedIn profile and I would find them all, use them in that campaign specifically and create a landing page that basically teaches people how to have a good LinkedIn profile mm -hmm. and put all those keywords related to like LinkedIn profile tips and there, there are 10,000 people that very, with a very low competition at a dollar a click. Right. So I could say I want to spend five grand, I want 5,000 people to come here and give me their email address and then eventually sell them something else. Right, that's exactly it. And, and I, I love that content approach for paid search because you hit it on the head. You can get these low bids for the essentially upper funnel keywords. There, You yeah. know these are people who are in your marketplace. They're interested in the products and services that you're, that you're selling, but they have very specific questions. And there's no better way for you to show your trust and authority than to answer their questions. Great idea. Well, thank you so much for sharing this with me. If somebody wants to get in touch with you, they check out your profile. Darren Carter, MD, you do Google Ads, Google Analytics, Bing Ads certified, you also do LinkedIn ads and Facebook ads and all that stuff. That's right. Um, and somebody can read your summary right here, they click on about. Um, one tip for you is add some call to action here. So if somebody's mm -hmm. not connected to you and they want like your calendar link or they want your email address or they want your phone number or whatever it is, put whatever your call to action is over here. So Darren, thank you so much for being on this, really appreciate you and I'm looking forward to speaking to you again soon. Sounds great.